In the spring of 2014, the Sunshine Coast Fiber Shed was thrilled to hear of Layla B., creator of Roundtable Farms in Williamson Landing, just north of Langdale, B.C. Layla's background and experience is in horticulture and silviculture and working in soil management. Her association with animals started with the breeding of caged birds, parrots, and parakeets, then moving on to poultry. Of special interest to the Spinners and Weavers Guild of the Sunshine Coast is Round Table Farm's small herd of Icelandic sheep, an ancient Northern European breed whose double-layered coat is uniquely suited to cold and wet conditions the inner layer being insulating, while the outer layer is long, strong, and water repellent. Carded together, these layers make a very versatile wool, treasured by weavers and knitters who value the fine characteristics of this natural fiber. Sammy the Llama is employed to watch over the flock of sheep and bronze orlop turkeys, a breed that produces mostly dark meat and will fully mature in the 30 pound range. If I were to go in there right away, everyone would go poof and disappear. You go in there and you're all. Come here, Prince. See? Well, whoever gets to come here first. Mommy, oh, oh, it's good food. Oh, yes. You too. Baby. You too. Yeah. 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 So this is where hunger comes in. I got her. I just want to watch the dark lady behind you. Shaving. <laughs> you guys are being so well fed. Look at that. Just because sometimes it's worth using. Johanna Walker began her sheep shearing career 10 years ago at the age of 14 after finding an ad in the local farming newsletter offering a workshop on how to shear sheep. How did you do that? The passenger side of my truck wing door. I've got all the hoof trimmers. Can you grab me the cleanest pair, please? See, she's brought, she, I think she had something in it. Uh -huh. it pulled it back. Okay. So it's got a little bit of an indent. Nothing serious. Just a little bit of an indent. In well, the foot. Can fix that. Oh yes, definitely. Nothing tragic. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I just didn't want the hoof trimmers to get in your face. <laughs> Well, I just want to see for next time. Yep. It's a learning curve for me. There you go. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt. No. You guys are so much smaller than what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah, they are. Johanna fully understands sheep and how to handle them, bringing a feeling of calm to the animal in order to do a first-class job of shearing. Holding the sheep in a firm yet comfortable position, Johanna skillfully removes the summer coat and, if needed, a pedicure is also part of her service. Yeah. Well, they had quite the coat, like they were getting warm by the time they actually got sheared. <laughs> 
The Icelandic sheep is a mid-sized breed, generally short-legged and stocky, with face and legs free of wool. The fleece of the Icelandic sheep is dual-coated and comes in white as well as a variety of colors, including a range of browns, grays, and blacks. Today's harvest of fleece will be taken to Yvonne Stoll at Fiberworks Gallery in Madeira Park on the Sunshine Coast. Here, the product will be inspected to determine if it is necessary to employ off-coast mill processing in Qualicum Beach on Vancouver Island, or simple washing and carding by local weavers here on the coast. Actually, I think this is my first Icelandic ground. <laughs> the end product will be the first locally produced natural fiber exclusively available through the Sunshine Coast Fiber Shed and the Fiberworks Gallery. On this Thanksgiving Day weekend, with cooler temperatures arriving, these cold hardy Icelandic sheep are very comfortable and thriving at their round table farm home.